Let's take stock of where we're at real quick. I want to see how many pieces of heart we have. Notice our... Let's just be real here from the beginning so I'm, you understand why I'm telling you these things. We're pretty much going straight to the moon like we talked about. So you can see from the equipment screen, we're not missing a ton of stuff. A handful of items. Mysteries over here. A couple of bottles. We also have uh, 4, 9, 11, 16 of the masks. Of the 24. 23. I forget how that exactly works. We're not going to be collecting the rest, especially because we'd have to do two more three-day cycles just to get two of them. This screen's looking nice, though. All the songs. Two pieces of heart. Okay. Uh, we're going to do... Oh, something's coming. I could shoot him with a light arrow again, but I think I've murdered enough bats for one day. <laughs> Once again. I played the notes. I, I don't know what you want from me, governor. Uh, let's head to... Oh, God. Oh. Oh, I think Woodfall's closer. There's a piece of heart that I thought about the more we played with the Picta box that we should probably get. And then we'll get one from inside the moon, too. There's actually more than one there, but we're just going to pick up the one, move on our merry way. Nope, not what I wanted. I feel very silly right now. Of course, wood falls outside the temple. It's the Woodfall Temple, you idiot. Though it would be kind of fun to fight uh, Old Alwa again. <laughs> I mean, we fought Goat three times. It only seems fair to fight Old Dawa a second time. Gotta give him the run back, right? Here's your rematch. It's gonna go much more poorly than the first time because I'm stocked for bear. Double damage with the sword. Four times as many hearts. You know. Okay. I don't know if we have to trigger this first, but we're gonna go here first just to make sure. So if you remember where we got the Picto Box from in the first place, it was this dude over here. Blimey. Spoiled child's playing hooky. Child is age has no business searching for fairies. So there's this whole pictograph contest, right? And we talked about sort of maybe doing it at the time. Then we got busy getting the monkeys and the Dekus and the stuff and guys and the thing. We don't really care about any of that. We already had the Picto Box from him. And he's talking about a son who's wasting his time chasing fairies. I wonder, oh wonder, who that could be. I wonder, I wonder. Let's just shoot his ass down with a light arrow. Overkill. I don't even know if we have to shoot him down to be honest, but I think it'll be faster taking a picture this way. Uh, I don't know if that works. It's kind of sideways. Uh, that's right, the picto box loading time. Every time I forget, every time I'm horrified. Uh, no, let's let's go ahead and not. Let's step back a little bit. That's a nice picture now. Oh, he stopped spinning. That would have been timed perfectly. I think this will do, though. That's not bad. Plus the other fairies in the screen, too. We got a double fairy bonus. If we were Frank West right now, we'd be getting all sorts of points. Also, I, I shudder to think of the word erotica showed up on the screen as the classification for the type of picture we just took. Let's not talk about that. That's a fan fiction I don't know if anyone's written. And there's a lot of fan fiction out there, but I'm not sure if anybody's got the particular tattle, tingle, niche. All right. Here, I, I brought you this picture. What? <laughs> Uh, yes, he is, sir. I don't know exactly what happened or what your wife looked like, but he's got a very different build than you do. It wasn't that much trouble, but you know what? It's fine. We'll we'll take our prize. Tell my son something for me. Please ask him not to go outside in that outfit anymore. I can try, but I don't think it's going to work. Now you'll notice, we're going to get a piece of heart from the moon. 
That's going to bring us to 13 hearts. That means there's still 28 other pieces of heart out there. We've gotten, I think, about half. I want to say there's 52 in this game, maybe 56. It's a little ridiculous. I don't know why I'm going on foot when I should be Song of Soaring. We'll talk more about the stuff that we're not doing. For those of you who haven't played the game, we will go over kind of what we're missing. In particular, not getting all the masks is robbing us of a cool experience, but it's also going to mean the final boss is still a challenge. That would not be the case if I were to actually get all the masks and get the final mask of the game, the Fierce Deity Mask. Fierce Deity Link is kind of sort of invincible, not entirely true, and he has Soul Swords or laser attacks, and he's the size of a full-grown Link, and he has a cool like helix sword it's a whole thing um i suppose i have to get the moon's tear don't i god damn it the moon's tear everybody you always have to get it uh, I don't want to go through the observatory for the 19th time in this playthrough, so let's go outside. We have to get stopped again, too, don't we? Ah, uh, you can't come out there. Oh, you have a sword. Very good. You're doing the Lord's work, sir. Okay. Which way is the observatory? That away. Perfect. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. All right, so... Or I, I, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there's a Deku flower outside the observatory. We're going to use that to get inside and grab the moon steer right quick. You know what we should do? We should slash these bushes real quick. Because we could use some arrows and such. Refill our magic a bit. There we go. Very nice. All right, now where's this Deku flower? Shut up, Bomb Chew. Nobody cares. Is it a Deku flower or am I tripping? Or is it like a magic bean spot? Oh no, it's a Deku flower. Whew. You know what? Ow. Sir, get down. Bam. Oh god, that still sounds bad. Look at him. I stole that rupee from a crow. Well, I stole it from you and I still can't get the 5,000 of them, so I don't know why I did. I think I just did it to hear the sound he makes when he hits the ground, and it is horrifying. Alright. This is the last time we have to do this, I promise. Good music still, though. So that's nice. You're a child I've never seen before. I've seen you four times already. But you couldn't know that because you're not a time cop like me. Don't worry, Skull Kid. We'll be seeing you soon enough. This cycle, in fact. There's no sense in resetting. We might as well keep all the items we have stocked up. If we reset, we just have to fast forward to the last day anyways. I'm going to remember that butt spank. There will be retribution. Oh, yes. Let's just cover anything interesting. I mean, if you call the Skull Kid's ass interesting, which I don't, it's flat. All right. So we're gonna head to Clock Town. We're gonna fast forward time, and we're gonna wait for midnight on the third day. There are a couple other things that we could, in theory, be doing in the gap, but some of the options we don't have the all night mask, so we can't try and get that piece of heart. We don't have we don't have a few things that we could do to make things very quick and easy. So we're not going to do them. Put that bunny mask on.
Yes, very good. I do so happen to have this. Yes. I don't know why I did that over the ocarina slot. We're gonna need that. And let's watch him fly away one more time, because why not? It's been so much fun every other time. <laughs> okay. So that's done. have to do this a couple times and unfortunately there's still going to be nothing that we can do to skip from 6 p.m. on the final day to midnight on the final day. Ow. That's embarrassing. Also, I'm going to have to remember what the Oath to Order is. I think I know it. And if not, we'll go to the menu. It's not like it's that big a deal, but... They taught us the Oath to Order after the first dungeon. That was about nine years ago. Even in raw video time, that was a good 40 hours plus. In real world time, since I record these you know, once per week, it's been much worse than that. I promise you I hit C right twice. All right. No more time shenanigans, no more anything. We progress to the end of the game. We beat the game. And on the one hand, I do apologize for this not being 100% run. There are some games that I would probably look to do that in. This is just not one of them. I'm realizing that having beaten this a couple times before with 100%, that I don't really want to go down that road again. First Daily Link is cool, but it's not that worth it. All the pieces of heart are fun to find once. Not so much after that. Sure, whatever. Just put it there. So once again, we're going to do that awkward thing where we go up here and then we're not in the cutscene. I also went out of my way to praise the... Anju and Cafe side quest when we did our list on the website of the top 25 Zelda items of all time. Cheap plug. Uh, I put, I think, the couple's mask as my vote. It wasn't very high. It didn't make our list. Um, but I did so because of that side quest because it essentially represents this entire three-day cycle where you help these two get back together. Their lives have been screwed up by the Skull Kid and you have to help them out. It's cool. It's just not something I want to have to do again. At the very end, you essentially get this choice where you have to basically get one of two masks, and as such, you have to do part of it twice. It's a thing. It's a thing. I think the postman's mask is one of the ones you get at some point during that, and then you get a piece of heart simply for checking a mailbox. So it's easy if you get the postman's mask, which is not easy. Oh, I know what we need to do. Oh, I know what we need to do. We are in slow time. Unless we want to wait even longer for midnight. We got to speed that sucker back up. Yes. So that's neat. We're missing some other masks. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to forget a couple of them. We're missing the like the Mask of Truth or whatever that lets us talk to the statues. Uh, we're missing the All Night Mask we mentioned. We're missing... I could pull up the menu and look at the list and tell you a couple more that I'm forgetting without having to look to a guide or something, but pausing is going to not let time pass. So... Yeah. This guy, by the way, just continues to stand here defiantly. He says he's not moving anywhere. He's not scared of the moon. So apparently he's just staring at us right now. Also, that dog is gone, so we can't get ultimate revenge against him. One more reminder, the moon is still waiting there. 
It's a moon. So there's that kind of stuff. We didn't really do many of the mini games around Clock Town. Um, we did do the one in the giant treasure chest to get a piece of heart. But there's the couples one where the annoying lovey-dovey couple from Hyrule uh, Market Square or whatever from Ocarina of Time just sits there and spins in the middle while you perform various tasks. The bomb one I think is kind of fun because it's like basketball. You throw them into the baskets. Uh, there is the shooting gallery in the town. Didn't even touch it. I know one of the prizes there is a bigger quiver and like the bomb bag, I don't know why you're supposed to care. I don't know that we were ever in danger of running out of arrows other than when we went back in time and had zero. We did the swordsman school, so we were able to chop those things in half and get the piece of heart from there. So we did about, I don't know, two-thirds of the stuff in town. Missed a few. That's okay. We could even go spend some of our time doing it. I'm not sure if any of them are still open, though, because we're final day at the nighttime, so a lot of people have evacuated. We never did the dog bedding because I was either going to do that by cheating and I think you need is that the mask of truth to talk to them or is it something else I forget but you can actually talk to the dogs and there's one dog in particular who's like yeah I'm going to win and so you just bet on that one we did do the Bremen mask just because I think that's fun and, of course, the bunny hood is a, re uh, a result of that, too. So, you know, that was important. We're still wearing it right now. I intend to wear it in the final fight. Overall, we got to, I'd say, about 60% of the game. Maybe a little more. Like a lot of Zelda games, there's a ton of stuff on the side that you can do to really flesh out the number of hours it takes to beat this. We are going to probably be in part 57 by the time we finish this. It's 56 right now, and we're almost at the end of this video. In fact, this video is probably going to end when it hits midnight. I don't know if I can beat it in one more, but either in any case, this is the last week for sure. It'll be done by Wednesday, I'd have to imagine. Unless I die. <laughs> we do still have two fairies, by the way. Uh, I could have gone and gotten more, but I'm hoping that two will be enough. We'll have 13 hearts by the time we actually get into the final, bo uh, bo final boss fight. So... I'll give you a more fleshed out review in the credits like we usually do in these series. So I'm kind of trying to save overall thoughts for that. Because there's a whole credit sequence. The credits are kind of neat. And we'll have something to talk about besides the review. Because the credits basically showcase things you have and have not done in the game. Uh, in the case of the one time I actually 100%ed everything. Although I beat the game a couple times with that file because it's fun. Um... The credits then showcase just everything that you kind of did over the course of the game. If you haven't done 100%, and we haven't, it'll show you certain masks that are related to certain tasks that you didn't do. It's like a reminder of, hey, you could have done this, but you didn't. So that'll be neat. Our final hour. Sky looks pretty. We can dance. I almost walked off the edge, though, if I had held forward instead of backwards there, which would have been embarrassing having to fly back up. Backflips while you wait. One last look at the moon, too. Just as a reminder. Because we're going there. Spoiler alert. Presumably right into his mouth. You can even see the clock in the very top there, upside down as it spins. We will take in the music for a moment, too, because I still love this theme. <laughs> 